Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we're gonna check out the pre-judging of the Vancouver Pro Show 2022 and as you can see right here in the top 2 call out we had Ian Valier and Antoine Voyant. <laughs> I assembled a couple of videos and photos for you guys and as you can see right here I think Ian is winning it but Antoine is holding his own honestly guys I wasn't expecting Antoine to look this good standing next to the monster Ian Valier Ian is a couple of pounds heavier and maybe an inch shorter so he is bigger but probably not as bigger as he thought he would be he is not exactly dwarfing Anton. Anton is holding his own Ian maybe has an angle here, he is closer to the camera, but I'm gonna show you in a second from different angles as well. Uh, as you can see here, the arms. So Ian is known for having huge arms, especially biceps. But honestly, Anton is not really getting smoked. I underestimated Anton and the mass of his upper body. I thought he's gonna be much smaller standing next to Ian. And as you can see, Anton has a really good midsection, really good looking abs, uh, small waist as well, smaller than Ian's, but Ian is bigger, Ian is definitely bigger, you can see it here especially in the lat spread. One of Ian's weakest body parts is his chest, and as you can see it is smaller compared to his massive shoulders, arms and legs, but here compared to Anton, his chest is probably looking bigger, fuller. As far as legs, they are very close, I think Anton has prettier shape, but as far as the sheer size, the mass, I think Ian just has more muscle on his frame. Now let's check out some of the photos that I found. So as you can see here, you can clearly see that Anton is a little bit taller, and that's probably one of the reasons why he's not getting dwarfed by Ian. Here's that lat spread again, and if Antoine was holding his stomach in, he would look much better in this pose, and Ian is doing just that. Even though Antoine might have smaller waist and just prettier midsection, Ian is quite efficient at controlling his stomach. And also, I noticed Ian improved the look of his stomach, of his midsection. He added more muscle, his abs look more prominent, thicker, better. Maybe he took a lesson from Nick Walker. I never really heard him speak about his ab training, I don't know if he changed anything, but his abs do look better now. In this side chest pose, which is one of Ian's best poses, Anton is kind of smoking him, right? I mean, he's showing better separation in the arms, he is showing more width through the chest or the shoulders, Ian's glutes might look a little bit sharper, quads are pretty much equal, and hamstrings, Anton has better looking hamstrings. But I think this is mainly the angle here and the way they're posing, you're gonna see more photos, you're gonna see it's not this much of a difference, but Anton does look much better here. Same thing here, Anton is killing Ian in the side tricep, but you can be sure that this is just the angle. What's good about Ian's side tricep is not his triceps per se, but it's the way his physique flows and it's mainly about his small waist from the side and crazy width of his shoulders and he's showing that when he turns a little bit more to the front and you cannot see this because he was posing for the judges, not for whoever was taking these photos. So Anton is not really killing Ian this much in these two poses, but, but guys, honestly, I thought Anton is gonna get smoked by Ian and right now he's really holding his own. Real quick guys, if you wanna find a really good pre-workout, I suggest Vintage Blast for you. So if you wanna support me on my channel, you can try one of these flavors, they're all amazing. It is one of the best pre-workouts I ever tried, honestly. So if you wanna try it, there is a link down below, and if you wanna get a 12% discount, just use the code EVAN, that's it. And here is a back shot, also pretty close I would say, let's go bottom up, so as you can see the glutes, Ian has much thicker, much bigger glutes, Anton is not exactly super dominant in that department, as far as conditioning they are pretty close I gotta say, but as far as the back itself, both of these guys don't really have the best backs ever, right? But honestly I thought Ian's back is gonna look much worse based on his physique updates. But take a look at this photo, different angle, different camera, and as you can see Ian's back is actually looking pretty good. I am honestly surprised, when I saw this I was like wow, he actually improved his back. I mean this guy is known for having a weaker back, but he has been working so hard and obviously he improved his back quite a lot. In the back double bicep he looks pretty good. Now if you take a look at the whole pose, he has so many great body parts, like glutes are really really good, legs are looking amazing, arms and shoulders, wow, 
and the back itself he improved that too the traps the upper back area and i would say the upper lats are looking pretty good and they always kind of looked better than his lower lats he improved those a little bit too but only as much as he could as you can see genetically he doesn't have the best lat insertions but with what he has he has done a lot he definitely made progress i gotta give him that back double bicep looks much improved and he is beating Antoine in this pose, he has much better V-taper, just more muscle, better looking arms from behind, shoulders, glutes, everything basically, so from behind he's definitely beating Antoine, I'm just surprised how big Antoine actually is, he is taller than Ian and has a big frame, but he has a lot of muscle on that frame too, but I don't think he's gonna win this show, I think Ian is just more complete, and he has a couple of really freaky body parts too. Even though Ian improved his abs, this is not a good pose for him and I think Anton is beating him in this one. Here's a little video of them doing a back double bicep and as you can see Ian is definitely looking much better in this pose but again Anton is really holding his own. So this is definitely a great comparison and these guys both brought really good packages. The photos and the videos that you just saw, I think they weren't exactly in Ian's favor because of the angles, stuff like that, but in these higher quality photos you can see clearly that Ian is definitely looking amazing and he improved, especially that back. In the back double bicep as well as back lat spread as you can see right here, his back lat spread looks much better, he definitely added more with more thickness to that back. I mean he just looks like a freak right here honestly. Here's a side chest from a different angle, it looks much better, right? And here is a lat spread, so you can actually get a grasp of what Ian brought to this show. The lighting is okay, it's not horrible, it's not great. And in these photos you can see that he definitely brought conditioning. And it's interesting, and I give him props for this, Ian turned his, one of his weakest poses, a front lat spread, to one of his strongest poses. This is one of the poses where he shows how big, how wide, how massive, how round he actually is. He's not perfect by any means, but he's packing a lot of mass on this frame and he comes in conditioned every time and that's why I like this bodybuilder. Here's a video of his opposing routine and here you can see clearly how much he improved his back. Look at this. Definitely looking much, much better. Don't pay attention to the calves, they are pretty much non-existent. I don't even look at them because the judges don't care about it, but he definitely would look better if he added more tissue to the calves. It would make his physique a little bit more complete. Side tricep, one of his best poses, he looks really amazing in this one. And as per usual, his glutes are dialed in, they're always pretty much conditioned. Now you can see his back double bicep in the video and you can see that, you know, it's not the best back in the world by any means, but it is improved. It is improved and that's all he can do. Get a little bit better every year, every show, and I think he's going to be even better than Mr. Olympia. Whatever you guys think though about Antoine versus Ian, who is gonna win this show, what did they look like, are you impressed, are you surprised, whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comment section down below. Now let's get to classic physique at Vancouver Pro, and I'm pretty convinced that Chan Kang, aka Brand Chan, is taking this one, taking this victory back home and getting his Mr. Olympia qualification. As you can see, he looks amazing. He looks really classic. There are two guys in the in the first call-out, top three here. The guy on the left is taller, the guy on the right is shorter, but I think these two shorter guys are dominating this stage. Even though in this classic pose, the, the tall guy probably looks the best, but not in the others, really. As you can see in the front double bicep, Branch Chan is definitely winning this one. He has the prettiest structure, the prettiest shape, the most complete physique as well. The tall guy, the guy on the left, not the, not the smallest waistline, not the roundest quads, not the biggest arms, not the most uh, popping lats, kind of looking flatter than Branch Chan, which is kind of expected considering his height. It's really rare that a tall guy can look big and round in the front double bicep, like Chris Bumps, for example, and some others, so he's not really doing that well in this one. Branch Chan is winning this one. He's beating the guy on the right as well, uh, as you can see in the abs and thighs, also pretty much similar story, smallest waist, biggest quads, best looking abs, what a physique, what a classic physique, he looks really good. Look at Brand Chan's roundness in the side chest, the other two guys are also looking very good in this one, but overall, all poses considered, he is winning this, this competition, also he is not the leanest here, he's definitely not the most conditioned, but he's beating them with his genetics, with his shape. 
you can see it clearly here from behind, in the glutes especially, both of the guys on the sides have much more separated glutes, but you know, this is not a glute competition, this is not bodybuilding, this is classic physique, and shape and genetics have a big, big role, and I think that's why Brand Chan is gonna win this show, but as far as the Mr. Olympia, if he plans on doing something over there, there, I mean, a top six at the Mr. Olympia, everybody has extremely good genetics, everybody is super blessed, so if he actually wants to be competitive, against those guys you know he needs to work on his condition he definitely needs to fix this he cannot show up like this his genetics are gonna lead him to the victory to a certain point to a certain level of competition but at a certain point at the Mr. Olympia I'm talking about where everybody is genetically blessed and also conditioned it's gonna be a different story but I'm sure he knows this and I hope he's going to fix this before the Mr. Olympia and I believe he's gonna win this show and qualify for it whatever you guys think though tell me in the comment section down below like this video if you enjoyed it. and for more bodybuilding updates and videos subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye